Hi guys, I'm Jay from BornToProduce.com and today John and I are going to teach you all about Cubase by making a track from start to finish that you can follow along with and make yourself. You can use almost any version of Cubase, so let's get on with it. So when you first load up Cubase, you'll probably be presented with this screen here and this is the Steinberg hub. And basically it's divided into two sections. On the left hand side you have various news and updates that are available to you. And on the right hand side you have templates to make your um, project set up quicker, uh, recent projects, or if you go to more on the right hand side we're going to be using an empty project so let's just click that. And just make sure that prompt for project location button is ticked as well. This way we can name our project and folders accordingly. Click create and choose the destination on your computer where you want the folder to go and click new folder. So I'm just going to put mine on the desktop for now just for quickness. Just going to call it beginner and let's click OK. Obviously you name it to whatever you you want to do on your computer. So we want to make music straight away right but there's just a couple of very quick settings I want to go through just to make sure that Cubase is going to work well for you. So come up to studio at the top here. Um, this might be called devices if you're in a slightly earlier version of Cubase. And I'm going to come down to Studio Setup. Make sure that VST Audio System is checked on the left hand side. And this is where we're going to select the sound card that you're using. If you don't have a dedicated sound card and you're using the one that came with your computer, just click Generic Low Latency ASIO Driver. Other than that, select your sound card from the list. This just makes sure you're using the right drivers for your sound card. Click OK. And one other quick thing, come up to Project at the top, click on Project Setup or Shift and S is the shortcut. And just check that the sample rate is 44.1 kHz and the bit resolution is 16 bit. These are the most common settings used, so we'll just select these for now. Okay, so let's get on with making some beats. Um, just quickly, this is the arrangement window. This is where we'll be making the track from left to right as time goes from left to right. And at the top you can see bars and beats. We'll get into that in a second. Just want to quickly explain the zones which are in the sort of latest versions of Cubase. At the top right hand corner of your screen you've got show and hide left zone, show and hide right zone, and show and hide bottom zone or lower zone. The left zone is for inspector which is pretty much your information and settings on the track that you're currently working on and various other things as well. The right zone, which you can see here, is for bringing in like the samples that are inbuilt into Cubase and VST instruments. Again, we'll be getting into that later. And the lower zone is where you can bring up the mixer and various other options at the bottom, like the sampler track and the chord pads. This is a great feature because you don't have to keep opening up the mixer in a separate window like in other versions of Cubase. So let's get a kick drum into our project and start making uh, a couple of beats. Click on your right hand zone and make sure it's open. Click on media and we're going to click on loops and samples. And we're going to have a little look through some of the samples that come inbuilt with Cubase. So I'm in the GASE library and I already have my drums filtered by kick drum. If you don't have this, just come up to this button here, show, hide, attribute filters. And make sure that kick drum is selected on the left hand list. Another way to filter your results, uh, say if you wanted snare for example, you would just come to the top and type in snare. You'd have to have kick drum unselected for that. And there we have snares. So I'm just going to go back to how it was. And you can audition these kicks just by clicking on them. And if nothing is playing for you, just make sure you've got this play button, uh, auto play button, I should say, clicked on down here. So I quite like the sound of this one here, so I'm just going to click and drag this into my arrange window. And Cubase has automatically assigned an audio track to it and place the audio sample on beat one for me, so that's great. Okay, so I just want to quickly explain about the 
bars and the beats at the top here. So what I need to do is just zoom in so I can explain more clearly to you. Now you can zoom in by using the G and H buttons on your keyboard. H zooms in and G zooms out. Or you can use these controls at the bottom right hand corner. You can use the slider. And if you want to zoom in or, uh, vertically, you can use the slider on the right hand side of that. We'll be doing all this a lot later once we're um, editing our audio. So the numbers at the top, one, two, three, and four, are the bar numbers, and the little uh, indents in between are the beat numbers. And if I zoom in using H, you can see that we have bar one, bar two, bar three, and we have four beats in between. That's because we're working to a time signature of four, four, which is pretty common, most time signatures in music are 4-4 four, four. and what this means is there are four beats to every bar. So at the moment we only have one kick drum within the bar and I want four. So I need to copy this kick over to beats two, three and four. Now I can move this kick around but it's snapping to the bar and not the actual beats in between the bars. Uh, so there's two reasons for this. First of all we have snap on which is this button here. If you click this, I'm now free to place this kick drum anywhere I wish without it snapping to the grid, which is useful sometimes, obviously for vocals or something like that. But for a kick drum, we want this to be on the beat. So let's put snap back on, but we just need to use a different quantized setting, which is the grid setting. And we're gonna change this from one bar to quarter. And now it snaps to each beat. So to copy this kick across, we need to hold down Alt on the keyboard and click and drag. Click and drag, and click and drag. So now we have four kick drums to the bar, and we're just gonna set the loop settings. Just come up to the top, and click and drag the region, which is one bar. We're gonna turn on the loop, now you may or may not have the transport bar up here. If you don't, click F2. And obviously the transport bar has play, stop, rewind, record, loop, etc, etc, etc. So press F2 to get that uh, displayed. Another way to do it, you may already have this at the bottom of your screen, depending on what version of Cubase you're using. Just come up to the zones section, click the down arrow and click transport and you'll see that the transport bar actually comes up into the bottom of the screen. So let's just play what we've got so far. Click on number one, put the playhead onto bar one, beat one, and click play. And there we have our four kick drums looped. So just for a bit of preparation for later on, once we start bringing in all the other drums, all the other instruments, you know, this track could end up with 20 or more different elements. What we need to do is bring down the kick drum volume, which you can do in the inspector, in preparation for all the other tracks that are gonna be summed together. So once you've got 20 tracks running, your total volume is going to be obviously a lot louder and therefore you're gonna get distortion on your master output. So that's why we're bringing down the kick drum now. Another way to do that is to come to the actual mixer. So click the lower zone and enable that. And see where it says kick drum here, you can adjust it here in the mixer. And the main output is around about minus 12, which is perfect. So that's all we want to cover in this very um, basic first lesson. I'm now going to hand you over to John. Thanks very much for your support guys. Please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.